Okay, a few more things we're going to do on this post. Um, first one is add one of those things. You hover over it and it says insert more tag. I'll show you why this matters in a minute, but basically after about the first paragraph or so, insert a more tag because what that'll do, basically, I'll try. I'll explain it later properly, but basically what it'll do on the front page of your site, you're just going to show an excerpt from the post and that that defines where the excerpt is. It gives you control over it rather than letting some software do. Next up, one of the things, if you remember, Yoast said about was an image. And I'll generally add an image into the post. Not always, but if I've got one that's relevant and you need to make sure that you've got the copyright for it. Um, I'll show you a site actually now where you can get those just a minute. Okay, the site's called Stock Exchange, and that's actually shortened to the letters S X C Sierra X Ray Charlie dot H U, which is H for Hotel, U for Uniform. It's owned by Getty Images, but it, obviously by the H U extension, it wasn't originally then. What you can do is search for an image. So let's go image. Let's be really brave, and it will bring up usually some premium results there. But you just go for the regular results. Pick on one of them, hover over it and you can see a slightly larger image. That's cash register, that's obviously a coin of some sort, quite an old one. And that one has extra restrictions, the guy must be notified and credited, so I ignore those. Many just can't be bothered to go through that process. I want to use it now or not at all. So got a nice tranquil looking scene there. Scroll down, that needs whatever. So you just scroll through, find an image that you like, and then just double check that you're allowed to. That one, standard restrictions apply, that one's fine. Now you can copy, right click and copy the image there, or you can click on it to get a really big picture, and that's what I'd normally do. It looks blurry because that's just how that particular image is because it's focusing on that flower and that's a really big image if we look at image properties image info that's 4,000 pixels almost by two and a half thousand pixels that's big I'll download that save it somewhere and then add media now I'm not going to use that particular one actually I could let's do it for simplest okay I've saved that giant image then click your cursor where you want the image to be and click the Add Media button. Now you can do this with PDFs, you can do it with audio files, anything, but I'm going to select that one. You can either click Select Files or you can do Upload Files, it'll bring up the same window somewhere. Okay, I've done Select File now and here are some I've saved earlier including that particular one, so let's just find it just bear with me. That one, click it and it will upload. You can see the progress, it's quite fast because I'm on fast broadband. And what it will then do, it'll give it a title. I've because I'm going Lorem Ipsum as my SEO word, I gave it that name. And what I'll do is change that so it's got spaces in it. Click in the alt box and add image. If I can spell. And then you get different options here. Right align because that's what I last used. Um, let me just move that up a little bit. Link to a custom URL. No, it's just going to go to its ordinary one. Size medium. Insert into post. It'll put it there. And then if you hover over or click on the image, you'll find two things. One gets rid of it. Don't click on that because you have to go through the whole process again edit image and that brings up an editing box there you can see the alt text to put in link URL link to image so what that'll do it's got a small image in the post and a larger one that it links to that's good for SEO purposes it, it works nicely and then click across to advanced settings I'll tend to put a border of five pixels around it you can see Firefox has remembered that for me and that link I've just told it to do open in a new window and update. 
open a new window just means if someone actually clicks on the image it doesn't take them away from that post, it just opens a new tab in their browser. And if we then go down to page analysis again you'll see that it's now said you've got an image. So that's useful. Then remember to update otherwise WordPress doesn't always tell you to. And then whatever work you did is all in vain. These other things over here you can if you click publish and didn't want to you can change it to pending review or draft. Uh, visibility defaults to public but if you want that post to be completely private or password protected you can do those. Public and sticky you're probably not going to but you might want to but there's better ways of doing that. And then scheduling if you want to change the date of the post you can change the date in there. So it knows it's January, knows it's this year, it knows today's date I was recording it and it knows today's time but you can change that and you can publish in the future and WordPress will then just drip feed those. Formatting don't do very much about. We've got a category of uncategorized, it's in that, but if you wanted a new category that tags I tend not to use. Featured image I tend not to use. So that's basically it. That's all done and if we click view post again you'll see that the image is in there and clicking on the image brings up a new one of that fantastically detailed thing. Okay, that's it for those. We'll then go on to pages in a minute. We've done one already which is the um, contact page but I'll show you another one and that'll probably just about wrap it up.